And there were guys in this recruiting class that came to Memphis because he gave them legitimacy. He is the cornerstone of what is overall the number one recruiting class in the country. And Lester Quinones is another member of that stellar freshman class. Four starters tonight because of injury and suspension. Damian Vaughn, Boogie Ellis connects with the long range three. This time for Memphis and it's six to nothing just like that. And, and like I just said, it needs to change and it needs to change right now. Big, especially in this game where you have a two and Wiseman roaming that paint, but he can take him outside, he can knock down shots from the perimeter. But the Ellis has his second three, it has been he can make such an impact on the interior. Ellis connects again, his third three. His high school coach you know, built that relationship and just a game changing player. Brought you see all these other you see Precious Achua right there, position and in the front court. Yeah, it's an outstanding class even without Wiseman. But Wiseman caps it off, and Achua caps that lob with a dunk. A guy that can st stuff the stat sheet and do it in a hurry. And play the one through four. Got to get himself a dunk right here. How about an and one off the feed from Thomas? You, know, you look at a team that's playing defense where all of a sudden you're wide open after one pass. You start like right missing. here. It can be hazardous to your health. Now, if you're making them. Diggins saved it for UIC. Here's Bowen splitting two defenders for the bucket with the steal for Memphis. Wiseman, a post touch. And he's got his first bucket tonight. Shooter in high school now, the last two years, and a lot of scouts think that maybe eventually he can develop the three-pointer. He hasn't made it at a high clip yet, but when you look at him and the way he shoots the basketball. Now, Hardaway was the coach at East High School where Wiseman finished up. Now, offensively, he hasn't been the statistical force that he was on opening night against South Carolina State. One pick in next year's NBA draft. Diggins had the dunk at the other end for UIC. Ellis, give him five. Yes, you bet. Giving up a lob right there. Boogie Ellis doing just that and then staying down on the bigger offensive player, forcing a turnover. Lester Quinones trains a three. He did a lot outside of basketball. All these kids, they didn't see that. They see it on Instagram and they, they see it on Twitter. They, they see it. FedEx form to remind Memphis what the goal is. Jeffries, the drive and kick. How about the ball movement? And Lomax buries the three from the corner. Thing to do for coaches. Five to shoot for Michael Diggins, fading against Jeffries. He hits. Myself, we're going to win a national championship. Well, he's the coach. He should say that. Yeah. I mean, what coach is not <laughs> saying that? Right. Oh, Boogie Ellis is feeling it. Actual second weekend or national championship ceiling. Question mark is, do you need a veteran presence? to do that as Achua sticks with the play. Should tend to shoot. Now Jeffries with the steal. Tyler Harris pulling up. He knocks it down. Right now our, our system is broken and it's unfortunate to see kids continually paying the price. We talked about oh. Sousa as we see James Wiseman just manhandling. We are getting to a stage where that's coming sooner rather than later. Yeah, the hammer drops on players. Coaches, that's a different story. How about Jacob Wiley dropping a hammer there? American on his staff. Brown was there's stressing play, there's shoot some, around. Yeah, and there's yeah. some players on the bench yes. for both hey. these teams. Oh, Bookie oh. Ellis is a player. Defense. Eight points for Wiseman. And yet he has made such a difference as Ellis goes off the glass. Teammates all give him grief for but Quinones says it's just my style. It's how I like it. This can be where Memphis can get scary. Now, they're going to give us a dunk here, but they have the length in the ass, the perimeter, and it hasn't been a game where they've needed to pressure UIC. But you have to think, this could be a game changer for them down the line. From you. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in Tokyo next year. Yeah, I hope so. Be sweet. Tyler Harris. Oh, Bowen out of control. Ellis the steal. Here we go. And Lomax finishes himself. Of the year. 
We're headed to Memphis. Still part owner of a barber shop here in Memphis, part owner of the Grizzlies. NBA and done incredible things in a league where not many people are able to accomplish just that. Now he comes back. He's a high school coach. Was 2009, John Calipari's yeah. final season before he left for Kentucky. Lost to UConn in the Elite Eight, I believe. Precious Achua on the move. Wiley missed the three. Dickens the offensive board. Shot clock resets to 20. And Taylor. Thinks we want to see him play. Yeah, sure. All of a sudden, well, he is playing. All yeah. of a sudden, yep, he's starting. It, it was so bizarre. All of a sudden, he is coming out of the tunnel. And all of a sudden, he is knocking down the fadeaway jumper. He's going to get the accolades, probably regardless of what he does on the floor. Jacob Wiley, the nice strip. Oh. And the dunk against Achua. Dickens from the elbow. Harris chasing it down. Wiseman. Oh, two more. Two months in a season. And while he was really injured, the way he could shut down pick and roll, just skill set that nobody else in the country can match. Lomax off the crossover. He shovels it in. He had six threes in the first half. And there's Taylor with another three. In the gray for Memphis, Jaden Hardaway wearing his father's number who hangs in the Raptors. He gets some run here in the final minutes. Tyler Harris with the three. Like four good things immediately. Tell coach's kid, growing up around the game. Really cool to get to see him play for his dad. At the South Plains Junior College. Or ending up in Memphis. Jaden Hardaway off target, but Lomax cleans it up. Here's that you have University of Memphis and the NCAA that both want to play hardball. So we'll, we will dug in. We will see where this where the chips fall when this is over. The university chose to play him, and they are ultimately responsible for ensuring its student athletes are eligible to play. Essentially, it's on you, Memphis, despite this temporary restraining order. And we'll see where it goes from here. For Wiseman, this isn't it. But for now, they can celebrate a blowout victory over UIC. 92-46 the final. Much more to come from Memphis after.